Friends, Romans, podcast fans, this is Amani, director of Cry Havoc, Ask Questions Later. We wanted to thank you for listening to our dramatic epic of nonsense and political intrigue. This project has been years in the making, and it's thanks to listeners like yourself that we've been able to bring it to life. We really want to keep bringing you stories you love, so make sure to spread the word. Share, rate, review, tell your friends, tell your enemies, maybe even accost an acquaintance that you barely know at an obligatory social engagement. Let them know to listen to Cry Havoc, Ask Questions Later, and follow Rusty Quill Socials for updates using hashtag Cry Havoc. While you're at it, you should consider joining the Rusty Quill Patreon, where every Friday you can get exclusive first access to our Making Of series, which includes interviews and commentary from myself, the production team, and historical experts. Are you curious about ancient Roman history, or desperate for orgy soundscaping advice? Need tips on making murder funny? For a friend, obviously. These answers and more are coming to our companion backstage series. Rusty Quill is a fully independent company, and your support goes a long way. That's all for now. We hope you enjoy today's episode. An ordinary morning in Rome. Hmm. A little too ordinary, perhaps. Charmian! My lady. Come in. Shut the door. We should have the last few pieces of furniture moved in for you in... Charmian, I need to use your skills of observation. Come over to the window. Tell me what you see. I see... a quiet, respectable street. Very few people. There's a guard on each corner, but neither of them are looking this way. (laughs) Hmm. Our hosts want us to feel secure, but unobserved. Mm Mm-hmm. But considering how quiet it is, that merchant over there has chosen a very odd spot to sell his wares. You conclude? They're spying on us, while doing whatever they can to make us think the city is calm and untroubled. Hmm. Excellent, Charmian. I'm very glad I brought you along. So am I. There's a tension in the air, just like last time, right before they killed Julius. Charmian, I want to know what the people are thinking, and I mean actually thinking. Take the temperature, gauge the mood. I'll inform the guard, Captain. He'll know what to do. No. I want you to handle this personally. You... You mean... You've never been to Rome before, have you? Well, now's your chance to explore. Really? I want you to go undercover. Find out what the man on the street thinks about his leaders. Who does he prefer? Who does he hate? What jokes does he tell about them? Does Mark get his cock out in front of everyone, or is it just me? And so on. Anything could be useful to us. Yes, of course, absolutely. Can I dress up? Wear a disguise? (laughs) Yes. Oh, can I have an accent? This isn't a game. One day, the city will be ruled by Mark Antony or Octavius Caesar, and we have to back the right horse. Sorry, yes. I just got excited. I have to ask. Are you sure about this? You're attending the summit with the Triumvirs this afternoon. My place is by your side. Your loyalty is touching, but you have specific gifts that few can replicate. To go unnoticed, to retain information. After all, you're the only servant I have who got their job by trying to rob me. Yes. (laughs) That day in Memphis, I doubled my guard. And you got past them all to snatch at the purse on my belt for the sake of a few paltry coins. I didn't succeed. You caught me. Yes, but who else would have even dared? As a servant, nobody looks at you. Nobody cares. But we know better, don't we, Charmian? Of course, my lady. And thank you for everything. I prize loyalty very highly. And initiative higher still. Now go. Find out what you can. Bring me back something really juicy. Consider it done, my queen. We 
we will learn Rome's secrets, one way or another. Yes? Only me. Just making sure you found the towels all right. Oh, um, yes, we did. Thank you. Splendid. <laughs> Breakfast on the table. Oh, lovely. Rusty Quill presents Cry Havoc. Ask questions later. Episode 5. Taking Sides. What? Oh, oh, it's you. Good morning to you two. Didn't you go to bed last night? Uh, half an hour or so. Oh, it was very refreshing. Oh, ow, my neck! Mm. Hey, hey, leave those oh. alone! I've mislaid some audition sides and I've looked everywhere else. Well, they're not going to be here. Aha! Found them. What? No, that's a tax proposal. Nah, not on this side, it isn't. I'll just be taking these. Ever since we were children, you were always stealing my stationery. You always had so much of it. Nothing else made you happy. It still doesn't. You need a hobby. You're the second person to tell me that since yesterday, and you're both wrong. I haven't got time. It's compulsive behaviour. It isn't healthy. You have to relax. After the summit, when Cleopatra's given us what we need, then maybe I'll relax. For a day. A half a day. An hour. Gaius. I have a lot to do. It's part of the job. You don't see Mark or Lepidus killing themselves over it. Exactly. That's why I have to. Last night's reception was hardly an unqualified success. I haven't even seen Mark this morning. For all I know, he's lying face down in the road somewhere. And Cleopatra's been kidnapped by bandits. Well, if you're right, let me know and I'll stage a play about it. What's this new one about, anyway? The crown jewels. Never you mind, little brother. Now do yourself a favour and get some rest before this afternoon. Oh, Octavia, tell my secretary to find Mark for me, would you? Where should he start? I don't know. Tell him to use his initiative. Uh, Search the brothels. Mm, Good thinking. Am I the only one who knows what they're doing around here? Get some rest. Charmian. A new city, a new turf, just like old times. <coughs> oh, that air is not good. Not to self, limit breathing. Stitching woolens! Look at the stitching on those! Yes, yes, most impressive. Dyes, miss? Yellow, purple, you name it, I've got it. I'm good. Thanks all the same. Oh, look out. I said no, I don't want it. Oh, oh, belly. Yeah. Oh. oh, very nice. Cheers for that, you prick. You all right there, love? Yeah, fine. You want me to catch him up and demand compensation? What? Oh, no, it's all right. First time in Rome, right? Uh, no. Why? Be careful. These streets may look pretty, but there are vultures everywhere. Noted. Thanks. Oh, and by the way... Yeah? Return my purse, or I'll kill you. Ah. Yeah. Fair enough. Must be losing the knack. No hard feelings, yeah? That depends. How are pickings? They've been better. Nobody's got anything worth taking. Times are hard, are they? Very. You're not in a trade yourself, are you? No. Not anymore, at least. In that case, sister, welcome to the neighbourhood. Good luck. It really is like old times. I feel at home already. (laughs) You're a tough one, aren't you? Huh? Oh, hello. I saw you handling yourself. How come you didn't turn him in? I was only trying to survive. I didn't take it personally. (laughs) Funny girl. Mind you, these days I prefer that kind of scum to the soldiers. At least pickpockets don't wave swords about. 
Don't like the soldiers much, eh? Not when they're skint and bored, no. Sorry if you know any. Don't worry. I'm no fan of them either. This is your shop? Yeah. Fancy a look inside? Ooh, don't mind if I do. What do you sell here? Oh, everything. Dyes, fabrics, or a bit of furniture. It's like my dear old pa always said, Murder me, girl. People will always need soft furnishings. Good advice. So these soldiers, are they giving people any trouble? Uh, all the time. Uh, could you pass me that pot, the ochre? Sure. Let me help you with those. <sighs> Angry about pay, aren't they? Uh, the army, I, I can't remember whose fault they said it was. Don't ask me. Ask those bozos up on Palatine Hill. Three of them now, God's help us. If I was in charge, I'd give them a bloody good hiding. Hello, good woman. Oh, you know. Oh, look. We were just talking about your lot, weren't we? Oh, uh, yes. And what brings two hulking great soldiers plodding into my shop? We're the Neighbourhood Watch. Routine patrol. Have you seen any suspicious activity we should know about? Hmm, like what? Shoplifters. Litter bug. Anyone who needs duffing up, basically. No, I haven't. Now hop it, you two. Oh, come on, missus. We're just looking for something to do. And if you've got any spare coins... No, 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 now, come on, get out. Treading oh, what, mud all over my floor with a dirty red bricks of yours. Oh, oh, I say, could you help me? I'm... In a moment, sir. Oh, but I'm in a hurry. Oh, typical. You there. Hello? Me? Yes, you. I need things to put in Caesar's villa pronto. Really? Caesar himself? Yes, I want whatever you've got. Luxurious, but inexpensive. Oh, but I don't actually... Time work. is money, honey. In a rush. Oh, oh, uh, certainly. Yes. Give me runners, beads, that roll of white mm-hmm. curtain, and, um... Oh. oh, some of those golden ropes with tassels on. You think you can manage that? Uh, absolutely. You know Octavius Caesar, do you? What? Well, not personally, no. But I do know his sister Octavia, and demanding madam she is too. Heart's in the right place, though. Now, hurry up with that stuff. Of course. <sighs> and this is for Caesar, he said. For the play, dear, the play. We want it to look authentic, don't we? Do we? You do know who I am. Why, have you forgotten? What? Uh, <coughs> Quintus Metellus? Of the Palatine players, star of the stage. Oh, and don't let those curtains drag on the floor. They'll snag. Whoops. Sorry. Finally. How much do I owe you? Uh, I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? Well, as I tried to say... Look, I I want to be patient because I know what it's like. But you find me very busy and very late and very up to here with how the week has gone so far. So if you don't hurry up and sell me some curtains, I think I'm going to lose my mind. Um... Murder! Oh, yes. What is it, love? Your new shop girl won't sell me anything, and I'm getting upset. But she isn't my shop girl. Then who are you? Oh, I'm just trying to help. Really. Hello, hello, hello. Is something going on in here after all? Oh, for goodness sake. No, we don't need any soldiers. We'll be the judge of that, madam. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, I saw this girl in the street having a friendly chat with a known pickpocket not too long ago. Oh, my word. Is she a criminal? Oh, you were trying to steal my money. No! Stop it, all of you! Look, dear, I'd run along now if I were you. Believe me, I'm going. Watch out for that curtain. What? Oh, oh, no, 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 the the curtain! Oh, Seth, I'm so sorry. What have you done? They're ruined! I didn't mean to. That's it. You're coming with us. You're under arrest. No, please, look. I can explain. Can ya? Uh, now that I think of it, no. Excuse me! Oi! Wait! Don't worry, madam. We'll you won't escape through the neighbourhood once. Move! Ah, sorry! Oh, Going oh, through! Man. Very important! Oh, Move it! Somebody Please. stop that girl! She's a thief! And a hooligan! Oh, the things I do for Egypt. There's got to be some way I can give them the slip. <laughs> Taking them so long. Mm-hmm. <coughs> you know, it 
It's not right leaving us out here. <sighs> We're actors. They treat us however they want. <laughs> Still, auditions are usually quicker than this. Oh, here we are, look. It's Octavia. Hey, everyone. I- I'm sorry about the wait. Our director isn't normally late, but once he turns up... Oh. oh. Octavia, I'm so sorry. Quintus, what happened? Where's the set dressing? I, c- I couldn't get it. There was this oh, shop girl and... Uh, okay, oh. tell me later. Get in. Okay, everyone. Auditions for The Crown Jewels are now underway. Oh. Uh, come in <laughs> one at a time. Finally, that's me up then. Oh, good luck. Knock him dead. He's got more chance of becoming a Vestal Virgin. Hi, hi. Excuse me, sorry, I need somewhere to hide right away. Is there anywhere you could suggest? Sorry, what? To hide. I need to hide, like, now. So if there's anywhere I could uh, jump in or... Uh... Has she got away? I think she's around this corner. Crap! Out of the way! Hey! You, you can't jump the queue! Oh, some people, they think they own the theatre. Ooh, our first audition of the day. Quintus, are you up for this? Yes. Just... Let's just go. All right, sweetie. You've got your audition side. Uh, yes. Let's hear it then. <clears throat> Memo to self. Consider reinstating tariff on unmarried women and orphans to pay for oh. upkeep of cavalry horses. Previous levy, 2,000 asses paid annually, adjusting for you, inflation. Stop, stop, that's not the scene. But, well, it's, it's what's written here. Oh, yeah, sorry. Your part's on the other side, darling. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, yes, there we are. <laughs> yeah, right, once more from the top. <clears throat> I... What the... Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, sorry, are you, are you okay down there? Oh, let, let me help you up. And who in Hades might you be? I'm, what are you doing here? I'm... Wait, that's the shop girl. What shop girl? The one from earlier. She tried to steal my money and then she demolished half the shop. It was an accident, I swear. She ought to be in prison. Really? What is your name? My name? I assume you have one. Uh, Mia. Mia. Fine. You're here to audition. Audition? That little maniac can't audition. Sling her out now. No, no. Give her a chance. She looks interesting. And she can certainly make an entrance. If you'd forgotten, we're doing an audition already. Uh, yeah. No, we know what he can do. He's done the last five shows. Go home, sweetie. We'll let you know. Well, really, I've never had the luck before in my... Uh, sorry. Really, sorry. Okay, Mia, was it? Let's hear you. Hear me? Yeah, take a side. Uh, There, on the stage. The pages. Uh, yes. What do I do with it? You read it. I don't know how. You can't read? No. Can't read Latin or...? I can't read anything. Oh, thank you. Next. What do you mean? Get off the stage, madam. Get out of the building. Leave us in peace. But I can't go out there. I... (sighs) Yes? I... Okay, I can't read, but if I tell you a story, can I stay here? Yes. What? Why not? It could be fun. Let her. Talent comes in all forms. But... Fine. This had better be a good story. Well, Mia, away you go. Yes, right. Um, Right. I shall tell you a tale of... Powerful goddess. Female protagonist. Very nice. Ugh. This is a story from my country. One day, the sun god Ra became angry at mankind. He sent his daughter, Sehmet, to scour the world and bury every living thing deep beneath the vast ocean. At first, Ra was pleased at what he had unleashed, for Sahmet raged and burned her way across the earth and <laughs> slew his enemies. But soon the sky and the stars themselves were dismayed by Sahmet's thirst for blood. 
They begged Ra, the sun god, to stop her. But Sahmet had become too powerful. The more blood she drank, the more she thirsted. And the more she thirsted, the more she drank. Knowing this, the sun and the sky and the stars drew together and devised a plan. They turned a vast quantity of beer, blood red with ochre, and proffered the brew to Sahmet. Sahmet could not resist the tempting liquid. Greedily, she drank the draught, and another, and another. <sighs> the beer soon made her drowsy, and she fell fast asleep. <sighs> As she slept, her claws retracted, and her fangs drew back and her blood-stained lips became plump and soft. The land began to heal, and so did she. And when she next awoke, she had become Hawthor the Benevolent, and became known throughout the world only for her unsurpassed beauty and grace. That's it? Uh, yeah? Wow. That was good. Quintus? Well... Mia? How do you like to be in my play? Really? Yes, why not? We don't know if she can act. She has serious stage presence. I'm sure she can act. What about lines? How is she going to learn them? Well, I'll help her. Next? But, but, but she's on the run from the army. She's a criminal. You could say that about nearly anyone in our company. Come on, Quintus. She'd be great as the slave who gets mistaken for Caesar. That's the best role! Uh, excuse me? Yes? Yes. I'll come clean. I only ducked in here to hide from the soldiers, and they're probably gone now. So maybe I should go, and we just forget this ever happened. Yes. No, no, no! You're an actor! I'm not. I've never done it. And I have duties elsewhere. There. You see, Octavia? She doesn't want to do it. Let her run free. Wait. Octavia? Yes? You're the sister of... Gaius Octavius, triumvir of Rome, who is very tough on crime. No, he isn't. He's a pussycat. Yes, and we're the mice. Shut up. (laughs) Yes, Mia, I confess, my brother is one of the most important men in Rome, as weird as that still feels to say. But I am lots of fun, even if my brother isn't. And this play is not going to support the status quo. I've got a lot of issues with... Well, let's just say Gaius would love to shut me up. And he isn't going to. I see. Intriguing. Basically, if you'd like to be in this play, we'd love to have you. What do you say? I say... Yes. Thank you. Oh, good. Amazing. Rehearsal starts this afternoon. We'll see you then. Welcome to the Palatine Players. Thank you, Octavia. I think this could be very educational. Cry Havoc, Ask Questions Later is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. The series is created by David K. Barnes and directed by Amani Zardo. This episode was written by Rhys Teredo and Robert Valentine. It was edited by Nico Vitese, Lori Ann Davis, Catherine Seaton and Catherine Rinella with scoring by Sam Jones. Today's episode features Harry Roebuck, Lara Sawalha, Sarah Lambie, Andrew Seacombe, Benjamin Garrison, and Sarah Aga. With additional voices from Mark Nicholson, Nico Vitese, Natalie Winter, Tom Crowley, Lori Ann Davis, and Pip Gladwin. Cry Havoc, Ask Questions Later is produced by Natalie Winter, Catherine Lindemann, and production manager Natasha Johnston, with executive producers Alexander J. Newell and April Sumner. To subscribe, view associated materials, or join our Patreon, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online. Tweet us at The Rusty Quill. Visit us on Facebook, or email us at mail at rustyquill.com. Thanks for listening.